刀转弓。Repulse the monkey, 刀转弓或刀转红 Okay, now let me just show you first. From here, one, slowly circle your right hand down, past here. One, and then sideways, slightly behind. Turn palms, then look forward. Bring your hands in. Step back. Two. Ear, toes. Push. Pass in one straight line, one line, center line. One forward, one downward. But finish off just on the side here. Push out. Three, and then straighten your toes. Your foot. Okay, same thing. One, two, three, okay, relax. Repulse the monkey, it is very straightforward. You retreat at the same time you strike. Forward, yeah? If somebody comes at you, you block, strike back, stop him from coming any further. Okay, so it is quite straightforward and straightforward understanding. But why do we do this? <laughs> yeah, it really just make, because it is an exercise and we want to make it look also artistic and graceful. So therefore, we move the arms slightly open, especially in young style. And there. Okay, open, push back. Now, in a way, it is not stopping, but because we want to know the accuracy of this movement, we stop in between. Yeah? So, one, two, three. Waist. Ming Men. Ooh. Prawns. <laughs> Push. Okay, one draw back. Now from the center line, curve down. To the side here. The other one, as if you're about to replace it, but when they're about to meet or touch, this hand drops, the other one carry on forward. So it's all in the center line. Okay, no good. Many learners, they do this. No, okay. For example, like a punch, da, strike. Okay, so the hand is here. No good to be open, because if you open, you may miss. Okay, so make sure it is in the center, and as you strike, you strike. Okay, so block and strike, or, <laughs> oh, yeah, grab me, yeah, oh no, this one, grab, one hand, yeah, like this, yeah, grab. I go this way, see? So if she, if she grabs me hard, I pull her, boom, strike. Pull her in, boom, strike back. No good, like swimming. No good. Center line, three. If this hand doesn't go, I will pass her. Okay, the only time that's starting to swerve is when it drops and it serve, swerves sideways. Okay, this is the end of the first posture, so we must make show this. Then two, some people do this. One, two, three. No, this is the end. This is the end. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. This one, one curves down. 
there's another problem for beginners, is they curve both hands. So what do they do? One, two, this, no, yeah? Remember, your target is right in front of you. Your hand is to reach the target in the shortest distance. So that means from here, a straight diagonal line towards the chest. Okay, it's only this one that curves because you want to sway him towards you and using your waist and strike him straight down. Okay, so don't curve the top hand. One, two, three, da. See, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, let's try it. And also stepping, it is important not to cross your legs. Okay, but not too wide neither. Okay, so more or less like a straight line behind you. Okay, ready? One, open arms, then look to the front again. Turn palms. Two, fold your back hand next to your ear. Step back. Then push, turn on the toes. Three, push and draw. Open, one, look to the front when you're finished. Two, fold your arm, back arm, step. Three, push and draw as you sit back. Relax. Hold it, yeah. Relax, relax, like this. Okay. Level. Ming Mun. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah, no good. <laughs> like a board. Okay, so when you step back, the first thing you think about when you push back <coughs> is your Ming Men. Push your foot, Ming Men being pulled. But make sure you don't shrunk. Still there. It's the Ming Men being pulled. Okay? It's not like the empty stance we've done, where the hill is about, you know, it's a little bit higher off the ground. This one, some people actually do it with the foot down, except it's light, has got no weight. But here, when we do it, we try to keep a slight this, uh, height. So, but make sure you don't do this. Just relax. Okay? Push. Uh, push, yeah. One, two, three. That's enough. No, three. Why? Because if you lift it, you can't step too far back. <laughs> yeah, you'll find yourself very, very tight. Okay, so make sure your empty stand here is like this. So it's just like a pencil. You can slot a pencil in. Yeah, with the other ones, you can have it slightly higher, more like a quail's egg, okay? But here, just a pencil, okay? So don't deliberately lift it, just let it be natural, naturally off the floor. Okay, let's try again. Forward. How far do you step back? Uh, as far as you can without affecting your body weight, okay? So from here, One, two, as far as you can, no good, no, no good, good, no good, good, three, push, draw, three, okay, can you see the difference, no good, no, a bit more. Then, using this foot, using the Ming Men, push, draw. Okay, yeah, let's try again. Sometimes we try to rush things too much and it becomes unclear about the steps. That sometimes is the cost, uh, the, the, not the cost, the cause of the, the, the confusion about how the step is executed. 
Number two, obviously, is not knowing it. Yeah, that's probably the two main reasons. Number three is your legs are tired. <laughs> so you want to do it quickly to minimize that tiredness or stop, you know, shaking. But it is important that we need to slowly build it up to such a stage where, although we may do it quickly, but we can still see agility. Yeah? So, but we need to start from slow. So do it right, do it proper, and then the flow. Okay? Again, uh, accuracy, then continuity. That means even if you have to do it a hundred times on this, Try to stop it like this and feel what it looks like, how it feels like, before you sit back, push, draw, push. Okay, so no need to rush. <laughs> the reason is that is because your legs is getting tired or you're not, the legs is not strong enough. Where is the hand at the bottom? Uh, this is my hip bone, hip joint. I place it on the hip joint. Then move, move it slightly forward and then move it slightly away. Okay, hip joint. Move it forward, a touch, move it away. Yeah, no good. No good. When you finish off, it should be here, forward slightly, out. Okay, so when you come in, you should be able to hit your hip joint, your pelvis. Okay, if you're hipping, hit, hitting your here, no good. Okay, so make sure when you push, push, not here, but here. Here, not here. Good. Okay, yeah. Can you see you can put there? That's the joints. Yeah. Okay, not the side. Why? Because don't forget you're turning your waist. Your waist is being turned. If you put it too far to the side, uh, No good. No good. Relax. Because your waist is there. But make sure it's no more than 30 degrees. Okay? Don't turn your waist 45. Only about 30 degrees. So that your hand is here. Okay? Okay? More or less. Okay? No good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's about the joint area. 